Hey, welcome to Walk Bikes User Guide. I'm going to show you how the Walk Bike works, how to ride it, and give you some general tips on how to operate it safely. To ride the bike, you need the key card to turn it on and off. For that, place it next to the walk sign on the inner front panel. If you hear a beep, the bike is turned on. When you turn on the bike, the LCD screen lights up. Here you can find your speed, battery percentage and battery status. Next I'll take you through the basic controls. Firstly, the button panel. It allows you to switch between low and high headlights, signal lights and the horn. You can also see the turn signals on the display. At your right arm you will find the hand throttle. It will move the bike up to 5 km per hour and can be used for tight maneuvering and moving together with slow traffic. The brakes work as they do on any bike. The left brake is the front, the right brake is the rear. The bikes are also equipped with a handbrake. To apply it, pull down the lever and lock it like this. To release, just pull the lever. Make sure you apply the handbrake every time you leave the bike. Your bike is also equipped with a wiper. The wiper can be turned on and off from the red switch. So how to ride the thing? To move forwards, pedal forwards. To move backwards, pedal backwards. Vok is probably a completely different vehicle from anything you have ever ridden. Please take it slowly at first and add speed as you get used to it. The Vok bike is also equipped with F1 type technology of battery regenerator braking. To use regenerator braking, pedal backwards while riding or press the brakes very lightly. Using regen keeps the battery running much longer and wears out the brakes less. It's important to see what's behind you. Adjust the mirrors before every ride. The bike can feel a bit unfamiliar at first, especially with the large blind spot in the mirrors. To counter that, I recommend also turning your head while reversing to make sure you didn't hit anything. Vok is an electrical vehicle and is run only on batteries. If you run out of power, you won't be able to ride it. That makes the batteries the second most important thing on the Vok, right after you. They are located under the seat in the battery compartment. To change the battery, first disconnect it like this and connect the power cable to the spare battery. Keep in mind the direction of the plug, it will only fit one way. To charge the batteries, always plug the charger into one of the batteries first, then plug the charger into the wall. The arrow on the charger plug should be facing towards you. Behind the seat you have a little compartment for your personal items. To open and close it, use this latch. Finally, this is the cargo box. Every key card includes a key for the lock. Use the key to unlock the lever, then you can open the box. To lock the cargo box, simply turn the key the other way. Don't forget to lock it every time you leave the box unattended. For your and other safety, do a safety check before every ride. The safety check includes checking the lights, checking the tires, visually inspecting the bike for any broken details and testing the brakes. I'll take you through all the steps. Turn on the bike, turn on the signal lights and high beams and apply the handbrake. Walk around the bike, press the tires to make sure they are fully inflated. Tires should also have at least one millimeter of thread left. Check that all the lights are working properly and look for any damage on the bike. Finally, go for a quick test ride and check if there are any unusual sounds or handling problems. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, contact Vox support or your service provider. While riding a walk is great, please remember to ride responsibly, respect others in traffic and obey all laws and traffic rules. Happy walking.